Hello friends, today we will be studying about fluorosis. Definition What is fluorosis? How it is defined? Fluorosis is an abnormal condition which is caused by excessive intake of fluorides. It is characterized in children by pitting and discoloration of teeth and in adults by pathological bone changes. There is deposition of fluoride in the hard and soft tissues of body. This occurs when water fluoride content is high which is more than 3 to 5 part per million. It is estimated that more than 62 million people in India are suffering from dental, skeletal and non-skeletal form of fluorosis. Classification of fluorosis, how it is classified? Fluorosis is of three types. The first is dental fluorosis which is affecting the teeth. The second is skeletal fluorosis which is affecting the skeletal. And third is non-skeletal fluorosis. Now we will study something about them. Dental fluorosis. As you see these teeth are having mottling appearance indicative of fluorosis. Dental fluorosis is caused by taking in too much fluoride over a long period when the teeth are forming under the gums. Motting of teeth where the enamel loses its luster becomes rough, pigmented, pitted and brittle. These are the fluorotic teeth. Later the teeth become hard and brittle. These are the features of dental fluorosis. The second one is skeletal fluorosis. As you can see the limbs of the patients here, they are banded indicative of skeletal fluorosis. The early symptoms of skeletal fluorosis include stiffness and pain in the joints. Sclerosis of bones, especially of spine, pelvis and limbs occur in skeletal fluorosis. Ligamental calcification, calcification of interosseous membrane and calcification of tendinous insertions are commonly seen in this disease. As you can see in this picture indicative of spine, skeletal fluorosis. Now what happens in severe cases? In severe cases the bony structure may change and ligaments may calcify which results in impairment of muscle and pain. Constriction of vertebral canal and intervertebral foramen exerts pressure on nerves, blood vessels leading to paralysis and pain. Weakness anemia, weight loss, brittle bones are seen in skeletal fluorosis. The patient may also complain of stiff joints. The third form of fluorosis is non-skeletal fluorosis. What happens in non-skeletal fluorosis? The patient may have gastrointestinal symptoms like abdominal pain, excessive saliva, nausea and vomiting which are seen after a high level of exposure to fluoride. Second is neurological manifestations, nervousness and depression, tingling sensation in fingers and toes, excessive thirst and tendency to urinate is seen in neurological manifestations of non-skeletal fluorosis. Third is muscular manifestations of non-skeletal fluorosis, muscle weakness and stiffness, pain in muscles loss of muscle power and inability to carry out normal routine activities are seen. Allergic manifestations are also seen in non-skeletal fluorosis, skin rashes and perivascular inflammation indicative of pinkish red or blue red spot oval shape on the skin that fade and clear up within 7 to 10 days. Now how will you treat fluorosis naturally? The answer is 
लेमन्स लेमन्स कंटेन सिट्रिक एसिड विच इज अ ग्रेट वे टू गेट रिड ऑफ वाइट स्पॉट्स फ्रॉम द टीथ टेक सम लेमन जूस एंड एड अ पिंच ऑफ सॉल्ट रब दिस मिक्सचर इन टू योर टीथ फॉर टू और थ्री मिनट्स एंड देन यू कैन रिंस आउट विद वॉटर what you can do to prevent fluorosis fluorosis can be prevented by avoiding excessive intake of fluoride how you can do that by using alternative water sources like rain water or water which is low in fluoride content by removing excessive fluoride from drinking water and by improving the nutritional status of the population you can prevent fluoride that's all for today thank you please subscribe to our channel thank you